Hi everyone, I'm here today to show you what you can do if you purchase a wig that is too light for you. And instead of returning it, maybe you could put low lights into it. So in front of you, you are looking at two Tressalure Mias. Both of them are in the color Velvet Cream. So they're the exact same wig in the exact same color. And on the left, so this one right here, I've done nothing to that one. That is how Velvet Cream comes out of the box. On the right, right here, that is Mia a little bit modified with a Copic marker. So let me show you when I say Copic marker what I mean. I might not be able to get it to focus. There we go. Copic sketch marker. Furniture markers will work as well and I've used both. And so in the description of this video, I will link the exact Copic marker that I used, but I will also link the furniture markers that I like and that I have used as well on wigs. Now, I'm gonna turn these around for you so that you can see how, I mean, you, I think you can already see how much darker the other one is, but I'll turn them around for you so that you can see without the faces. Okay, so here's a look at both of these side by side. I have obviously done a lot of highlighting, or I should say low lighting, on the one on the right with my Copic marker. And I'll show you the technique that I use, but it's really, really easy. And depending on how much you want to do, it may only take you a couple of minutes. Um, this one took me a little longer because I wanted to put low lights throughout the hair, not just add rooting. But if all you want to do is add a little rooting, it's super quick and super simple. It makes a huge difference. I'll um, put these on for you so that you can see what they look like on me, but it really makes a huge difference. So I highly encourage you, if you've purchased a wig that's too light for you or one that you want rooting on, I, I really suggest that you consider buying a furniture marker or a Copic marker. You may already have furniture touch-up markers in your house. And go ahead and add some low lights. It will make all the difference. So let's take a quick look at the rooting, and then I'll let you see them on me. Okay, so here we go. This is what the top looks like. So I've rooted, you can see I've done some rooting here, and then I've taken and put some low lights throughout, but I kept some of the light color. And you can see on this one, there is no rooting. Look at how different that looks. So different and so natural. It's not, it didn't dry the wig out. It didn't make the wig feel like it has a, a weird coating on it. It just deposits a little bit of color. That's all. So, coming up, we'll take a look at them on me, and I'll show you what I did. All right, here we are with the rooted version of Mia on my head. And so I'm going to do my best to show you both of these side by side and then throw another, the other one on me just so that you can see how different the rooting makes her look. I mean, even from this angle right here. Can you see that? And you can do as much or as little as you want. I really wanted to get a, a darker overall look. So I spent quite a bit of time rooting and then putting in low lights. And it really makes a huge difference. Just see that color difference. So over time, you can... Um, add more rooting. You can start out with just a little bit and see how you like it. Something that I think is important to keep in mind is that this doesn't completely wash out. So let me grab the marker here. So this will fade as, as you wash the wig, but I don't think it will always completely come out. Kind of depends on how much you put on it. I have done this on my Girl Mono Hot Hazelnut Mix. My original rooting video is actually on that wig. And it does fade over time and sometimes I touch it up and sometimes I don't you know I do start to get a little bit more used to the lighter color and then maybe I don't need it to be quite as dark so let me just show you the technique that I use you can do this on your head or you can do this on a wig head so um, this particular marker has a fat end which is what I use it also has a skinny end which I don't use I actually wish that this were just a little bit fatter, actually. But so then all I do 
is I start off right around the part line and I just literally getting focus here draw on the hair just you know quite more more heavy-handed kind of at the root because I'm looking to add rooting you can see I be careful not to get it on the monofilament I don't want to stain that and that's all I do to add rooting and then to add the low lights I just pick hair that I want to maybe be a little bit darker this is challenging to do on camera and then I just paint down the hair depending on how much you're gonna do you might want to use a mannequin head for that part of it just because it can get a little tedious a little tiring to do it on your own head and sometimes you really have to hold the fibers taut to make sure that you're actually able to draw on them because they do have a tendency to want to move around I've tried lots of different ways I've tried like um, holding it against maybe a paper plate and drawing on it that way I just find it's usually easier to hold it taut and then draw down the fiber but whatever works best for you is great I don't think there's any wrong way to do that so let me grab the lighter color one now and let me put her on it's dramatic I think it's dramatic they both have just a little bit of a different curl pattern and a different level of poof and that was the case before I rooted her so don't um, assume that this uh, the rooted one looks different because I rooted her they did come just a little bit slightly different um, this one is a little bit poofier I think the permatease feels a little bit more prominent than this one see just so much darker overall and I love that that's exactly the look I was going for all right everyone I hope this was helpful uh, it's an encouragement to you that you're able to really work with a wig if you get one I would say if you are struggling with color err on the side of lighter versus darker because this technique can help you um, I haven't figured out how to lighten a wig yet and so a synthetic wig and so I'm not sure you know when you go too dark you're kind of stuck but definitely going a little bit lighter now if you got a platinum blonde I do think that's going to be harder to root I think the more extreme change you're trying to accomplish you run the risk of not being able to accomplish that so um, my first one was a was a basically an auburn that didn't have any low lights and didn't have any rooting and that was girl mono and hot hazelnut mix and I needed the low lights and the rooting and that was perfect this is probably the lightest wig I've successfully rooted I did I do have a video out there with Aesthetica Finn and that was I think it was for the color 1420 it might have been 1226 with no root and that one didn't work I don't know what happened at that time but it didn't look right to me and this one I think is not that much darker than Finn but for whatever reason it worked so I'd start slow maybe try rooting some of the layers underneath the top layer just in case you don't like the way that it looks because like I said I don't think that this will wash all the way out it does fade quite a bit but I don't know that it washes all the way out so just take it a little bit at a time but I have done this on probably five wigs now I have multiple wig sisters who've emailed me or messaged me and said that they did it as well and it worked great so I believe this is a, vi a viable option for you to help you on your wig journey some people will be naysayers about this and so you've got to be really uh, you've got to educate yourself you've got to test this out on your own and you know do your very best to go slow so that in case you don't like it but I can't see any cons to this I have not ruined any well the fin I ruined only because I washed it so many times but other than that I haven't ruined any wigs I really love this technique so thanks for watching everybody let me know if you have questions have a good one and I'll talk to you soon